This is the new norm and it keeps bringing new things on us. So the hard part is keeping up with what we actually have to do. Tom Kunkemuller can add mask requirements to his checklist at the Turf Club on Eastern Avenue. He spends afternoons here cleaning, rearranging tables, and making sure customers and employees feel safe. Governor Mike DeWine's mask mandate means customers now need masks inside when not eating or drinking. He says carry out helped the Turf Club, but even today there's limited seating, restricted hours, and half the usual business. Kunkemuller hopes customers understand and keep coming. And I would just apologize to him and say, look, you know, I'm on your side. I'd like to see you do what you want to do. But unfortunately, at this point in time, we're, we're just, we just can't. At Queen City Comic and Card Company in Pleasant Ridge, owner Jeff Hoffman says half his customers wore masks before and not the superhero kind. Now they'll all need one. Hopefully people are informed enough to know that they need to wear them and that you know we won't have to play mask police with people. He feels lucky his business kept up mail and online orders during the shutdown. The store is open normal hours now. Hoffman hopes the mask mandate doesn't prove to be a villain. I'd like to hope not, but you know, anything's possible, you know, the people who refuse to wear masks now very well may choose not to go out. Yeah, and this all could make for some awkward conversations between customers and business owners. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. The owner of the Turf Club says that his business could typically seat about 52 people inside. Right now, that number sits at about 30. He says he'd love to go full time with the opening hours. However, that demand just is not there. And here tonight at the banks, by the way, I want to say that uh, it's been fairly slow. One of the business owners says that, quite frankly, they haven't had much in way of business. We're live down here at the banks. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.